So what I was saying is that um, the first thing that uh, spiritual healers do is ask the question, what is the spiritual significance of this dis-ease before doing anything else? And uh, that's whenever I ask that question, what is the spiritual significance of my current dis-ease? The fact that I'm, at least on the surface and the physical, I'm out of harmony. Having chosen to be out of harmony, what is it that I'm, you know, seeking to accomplish through this? And Everybody's got their own way, and this is mine. And I know astrologically that the change that is afoot right now is beyond this specific lifetime and includes uh, conditions that have been I've been crafting for several lifetimes. And uh, the reason I know this astrologically is because uh, Pluto is conjunct my ascendant. It's actually going backwards across, going retrograde across my ascendant right now. And as I said the other day, it's like I'm the poster child for what it means to have Pluto conjunct your ascendant. Um, this doesn't happen to everybody because it takes Pluto 248 years to go around the sun. And the last time it was where it is right now in the sky, um, in its journey around the sun was around the time that the United States was being born, just after the Seven Years' War, the French and Indian War and all that, just before the French Revolution. And I see, you know, parallels to what's going on in the world um, politically with um, what's going on astrologically. And uh, at an, in another post, I'm going to get into that because it's, I really feel like it's, it's pretty critical to get up to this perspective. I'll just give it a little heads up. You know how we've got, we've got, all these similar characters on the world stage, none of whom are the sort of people that one would expect to be anywhere near close to positions of power, but it's kind of a global thing, and here they all are, this whole cast of clowns. And that, to me, says it's an astrological manifestation and to look at the astrology. And so I know that it's Pluto transiting Capricorn, the sign that has to do with the basic structure of the world. So you have the planet of, of death, transformation, and rebirth, or divine communion through the process of death, transformation, rebirth, um, going through the sign that has to do with the basic structure of the world. It says the basic structure of the world is beginning to be going through some death, transformation, rebirth. Um, mojo, <laughs> as Kelly would say. Um, so, uh, I have that going on. This is, you know, we, in astrology, when we, we recognize that one chooses the exact moment to be born and we contract with all the key players in our lives to construct a healing as our gift or giveaway to the collective human unconscious. And this, uh, the timing of this event, you know, this this thing is the outward manifestation of, of something that I've chosen, that I chose before I came here. And I feel like it's an initiation. Um, and to me, the whether I stay in the physical body through this or not, is it's not it's not important. Um, it's not as important as, you know, getting the lesson and passing me an initiation that I set for myself. 
So um, I wanted to say something about this this um, concept I hear often when people are talking about uh, cancer and life-threatening diseases, and that is this whole jargon around around um, um, military jargon. You know, the use of military battling and and combating and and uh, all that kind of the fight, having a fight against this or that or whatever. Um, that may work for other people. It never has resonated with me. Um, I don't see or feel myself in a battle, and I don't feel that that's um, really healthy for me to be focusing on right now. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm certainly... I'm, I'm on the path, I'm on my path, and uh, as I always have been, and this, this is just another turn of on the path for me, um, because in my universe, I, <laughs> I recognize that we're all infinite and immortal children of the light, and um, you know, this is my spacesuit, and you know, this earth is our spaceship, and uh, you know, this is my, my gift. Um, and my choice being here being alive I feel really blessed especially when I can when I make the time to appreciate it you know and that's kind of a priority for me right now and anything that isn't in alignment with that is I don't have I don't have energy for um, So there's things I want to accomplish over the next uh, while here, um, while I still have my all my faculties. In, um, I want to finish the uh, um, Enoch to movie book story project. Um, I'm working on this this book that is. Uh, I've been working on it for seven years. The sequel to the Emergence Beyond 2012 book and movie project. It's kind of an update of all this information that's come through um, since, uh, you know, making the movie about the archaeological sites I discovered in Big Sur back in 1993-94. And, um, and I've got this album, um, um, cerebral mind candy that I'm about to uh, release hopefully by the end of the month well maybe, maybe not in the next couple of weeks I just realized it's like the 27th I'm not going to finish this in, in three days but you know certainly before I have to uh, go to the PET scan thing on that 17th of October um, let's Thing. Yeah, there's a couple other things like a, maybe a novel that I I, I really I love writing novels. I, I love having one that I'm working on all, at all times. You know, just because that that process is so yummy. It's like it's like having a painting. You know, a huge painting that you're slowly slowly every day you put a little work into you know I just love that that the, the way that one thinks because I mean you're just making it all up which is the same thing as life you know because we're all making it all up in life as well even if we want to pretend that we're not so so with, with YouTube um, you have to apparently they have this new thing where if you want to do a live stream you have to have a thousand followers I only have like 433 so until I get a thousand followers I'm not I won't you know do a live do any live streaming on this um, 
finances. Uh, good news is um, somebody sent me a hundred dollars yesterday so I could pay my to put towards my phone bill. Um, uh, I don't know how I'm if I go the allopathic route I'm gonna I won't be able to live in the bus anymore um, because your immune system gets really whacked and there's just too many uh, factors um, poss possible pathogens that you become really ultra sensitive to in that process so um, and as I said the other day, the boardwalk this year was the worst it's ever been. Um, worst summer we've ever had, I think, thanks to uh, the current president. And um, so I, 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 you know, it's I'm, I'm not sure how things are going to pan out. Um, my overhead is about f between four and five hundred dollars a month, and uh, you know here it is the end, end of the month, and I'm, I haven't quite made that yet. So, so there's that. I don't have I don't have anywhere near all the answers, um, but I I feel really healthy, and I feel really alive, and I feel really good and excited about what's coming and what's happening right now and I feel like I am in the rebirth phase of of all of this and uh, because this is not a this is not a new thing I I had an idea that this may be it may be a possibility you know six six or eight months ago which is but it seemed like an outside possibility I didn't know that it was but then in July, I, I had a pretty good idea that it, that it might happen um, because uh, this thing in my throat started really growing and I actually put my finger back there and felt it and I was like, oh shit, that can't be good. <laughs> and it wasn't getting any smaller, you know, so... Um, Anyway, uh, now we're at the at, now that I'm alkaline, we're at the test of how m of this idea that that cancer cells can exist in an alkaline environment. So, um, taking a proactive, aggressive um, approach to kind of a crash experiment in how we can shrink these things. Um, over the next three weeks before I have to show some kind of improvement before um, that PET scan thing. So um, I'll leave this for now. This is the this thing keeps cutting off so I have to stop and start again. Sorry about that. Um, but I, I'm looking forward to carrying on this, jur this journal. Um, and uh, video record of, of the journey. And uh, yeah, so. So here we go. Do this little thing. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna look right into the camera and I'm gonna listen to the divine vibration And then I'm going to do what I can to send that harmony through to you.
Thank you.